Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to give you a lesson on Sally Ann. Sally Ann is an Appalachian tune and there are many versions of this. Uh, this is a request incidentally for Benjamin. Um, yeah, many versions and this is related to the song Sail Away. Uh, so the Sail Away, Sail Away, Sail Away. With this case it's uh, Sally Ann, Sally Ann, Sally Ann. And that is the key feature of the song. I think all of the different versions are going to have that da 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 in them, that bit of syncopation uh, recurring through the tune or the song. Uh, so you could very well write another version about can of beans or some such thing. <laughs> but I digress. So I'm going to give you two versions. One um, by Mark O'Connor, and there's a very nice um, TV show version of that on YouTube that you can see and uh, a more traditional version by Tatiana Hargreaves. The first one is in the key of G and the second one in the key of A. So let's start off with the Mark O'Connor version, which is not full of pyrotechnics as you might expect, but pretty straightforward. One, two, three. So it's very short. Um, this is played as an instrumental in between verses. Uh, the trickiest bit is the, the fourth finger uh, doubles on the, the um, second line. You've got to hold your fourth finger down to play the first finger. And here, double fourth finger, fourth finger. And if you find that just too hard to get that in tune, then uh, by all means leave out that fourth finger thing. I always say there's, a, there's an infinite number of ways to play any tune, and you just find the, the level of, of uh, difficulty which suits your playing. Uh, let's do that again, but with the backing. I think actually that length is too short for a, a, a unless you're playing with a with proper band and you are just filling in in between verses then that is too short to make anything worthwhile of. But the, uh, the Tatiana Hargreaves version uh, of which there's a lovely video then on that you can see um, they go round and round which is very much the old time thing to do and just by ever so slightly modifying each time round you can make it really interesting. So, key of A now. One, two, three. Part of this is the is bars two and three. So we're going. So we're putting a C sharp under the F sharp. Keeping it on. And then keeping your first finger on. Put your third finger on below that. And 
And there's also room for various other open string drones, um, particularly on the A chords. Apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. You can um, augment it, as I said, with a little bit of ornamentation, perhaps a bit of uh, more droning and a bit of shuffling, stuff like. And maybe a bit of extra syncopation as well. I'll go through it once playing it straight. And Incidentally, there's an interview with Tatiana that I did as part of my uh, Exploring Country and Bluegrass Fiddle book and uh, that was a really interesting interview. She's an incredibly knowledgeable and um, forward-thinking musician and uh, well worth getting to know what she does. Uh, I'll play you out with, the, with a slightly loosened up version of that and if you'd like a copy of The Dots then do subscribe and send me an email. And if you would like to help support me and keep these videos coming, then do consider joining me on Patreon. I'll see you again soon.